he's, he's here. But King David is here at Radio Regent. So how have you, how have you been? I mean, cool. You didn't been? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I've been doing some research on your music, and I didn't realize you had so many albums. I dug up about 30 albums, including 7 Inches, 12 Inches, yeah. and the Charlie Roots. It's a lot of work out there. Yeah. Where, where can the fan purchase your music? Well, most of the stuff, um, the, the, more, the stuff in the, in the last 20 years, you can purchase on um, iTunes, okay. CD Baby. You can go to all these places, Amazon. Um, okay. And, and you, you can, you can um, 99 cents for a song and $9 for an album. Right. That, so you can, you can put those things down there. That's fair value for a lot of good music. Like we used to say, when we go to a good party and we saw a good artist for a really low price, we used to say, Fifteen dollars, but we got a hundred dollars worth of entertainment. This is beyond. David Rudder's music to me is very uh, spiritual to me. He is um, the man, the artist who bridged soca, calypso, and soca. In my view, he's the testament of, of, of modern day soca. He, he brought the cross pollinization to the music with. A little Afrobeat, a little soca, a little reggae, a little soul, a little samba, a Latin groove in the mix. And um, we loved that. And I didn't realize King David was so funky too. I pulled some tracks and I go, wow, this man had it, had it down packed. And I saw, I saw David Rudder a few years ago at um, the Caravana event on a Saturday. We were down at um, Ontario Place. And... I had my two daughters with me, grown women now, and you took that time out to say something inspirational to them. And they were just like, unbelievable. They came home and they, mom, you know, we met King David Rudder, and he spoke to us and they were starstruck. And you said something, I can't remember what it was, it was so many years ago, but the kids, they, took, they take these things with them and they nurture it and they, wow, I was really proud of that moment you give us that few minutes after your concert that's not a problem. yeah and, and and i go wow and when i got this show i i go to sleep at night thinking how i can i improve and what angle i could bring i said i'm gonna have to get king david rudder on my sh on my show or dvd show it's and sorry it's too in, in, in. Okay, so, and um yeah so um what is what inspired you to get into music um, you, you, music got it to me, okay. so it wasn't like, it was, I had no choice. One of the lucky things I, for me was that um, from a very early age, okay. at the age of nine, I, I first, the first time I stepped on the stage, right. I felt uh, very comfortable. Okay. So I knew that that's what I wanted to do. So from that, that very beginning, at the age of nine, right. to now, I'm, I'm doing, I'm living my dream. Music in the blood. Yeah. All right. And um, they said, I read something in an article in the Charlie Roots era, uh, Tambo was the lead singer, and he got ill. Yeah, I was a freelance singer. Oh, okay. And they asked me to come and uh, fill the spot for a while, temporarily, okay. till he comes back. Okay. And after he came back, I, you know, we tell him God who's the arranger of the band. Right. We had a good rapport. Okay. And we started to do songs together, so I decided to stay stay with the band. Okay. So that's how that happened. But from when I when I look at that path. You blazed the trail because you fit in there and just took off like wildfire. Yeah, well, I was I was known in Trinidad because um, oh. I I used to travel doing my own my own songs and so on. Okay, so that's how they they knew me and they said, well, what about David Rudder coming in to, to, to um, hold the fort? Right, and that's how it happened. You know, I was already um, okay. doing my own thing on my own. Right, so you just fit right in. Yeah, like a nice nice glove. No. You won, probably still the only man that, that won the three titles in, in Calypso. Yeah, well, in, in Trinidad, there's um, the whole um, essence of competition is still very strong. Right. So everything in, in Trinidad is a contest. Uh, the best um, soca singer, the, the carnival, Calypso King. Right. The Road March is the most popular song. Right. So there are competitions for all these things. And um, right. the year that I, I, I did the Bahia deal on the hammer. Right. I won the crown, I won the Young Kings, I won the Rose March, the winning steel band played my song. Wow. So 
it was kind of like phenomenal. It never happened before, it never right. happened since. Uh -huh. So it's a kind of special, um, it's a, it's a special moment that right. is still running. Right. So take take us there when, when you you hoist those three trophies and, and, and those envelopes there. What that feeling? Uh, I can't remember. It's, it was a strange. It was, it was just an odd. Um, mm -hmm. It was calm. Right. It was a calm. That's all I remember. Okay. But to say it was um, like I felt. Like, like I was over the moon or anything like that. No, okay. it was just like it, had, it took a time. It took time to took, to sink in. Right, right. But by the time it sunk in, mm. because because I was um, I was doing um, performing over twenty years mm. before that happened. Right. It was just another stage in the journey. Okay. It, it's not like somebody who like a young artist now who they break and they they they, they, they just make, become famous and right. not. They don't have what would be called the dues. Right. I, 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 my, I was an overnight success okay. after 21 years. Wow. You see? So right. I had that journey yes. to kind of protect me. Right, right, right. Um, I gotta ask you something. The planet. Right. And I just, I don't say that by, by guess because I've traveled all over the world. Okay. You know, and there's certain things that we have that other people, we take, the things we take for granted, other people, is like, they will work for the entire life right. to achieve. Right, right. Um, but at the same time, mm -hmm. I guess because of all these gifts, yeah. nothing is sacred. Right. You understand? Right. So, yeah. so that now, uh -huh. um, it's, it's, yeah. it's Soka is put in its place, it's, it's for, for Carnival. Yeah. There's a sort of like, a, almost like a self, a, a denial of self. Okay. So, you know, you don't see the, the Generations don't see the essence of the music being right. music. Right, it's right. seen as a seasonal thing. Yeah, and um, it, there was a time when that was that that was that was the case. Yeah, it, we had moved from that to hearing the music all through the year, and there are stations who do it. Right, but the, the part of the mentality still is yeah, it's um it's seasonal, yeah. and then the, the young artists do you know follow the mentality and yeah. create things right. almost like they created for the season itself. Right.